certainly isn't a problem. To David Stockman, who is not quite convinced, Ronald Reagan's former budget director, and the man who has ripped both parties for not facing up to the seriousness of this debt, joining me now. We'd like to spend extra time with David because, uh, like a sponge, I just try to <laughs> soak in all his smarts. What do you make of what Nate was saying? He's, lot, he's got a lot of good statistics. It's a nice history. It's a good profile, but it doesn't capture all of the problem by any means. So, so to be clear, he's saying you get health care spending under control, you solve the problem, you say no. No, I, don't, I say no because I want to reference back to what Ronald Reagan faced in 1981 when he came into office and where we've drifted for 30 years since. And I think it's a better picture than what he painted this morning. There was 21.2 percent of GDP on the spending side left by Carter. What the Republicans can't understand is that Reagan didn't reduce that. When he left office, as, a, was, percentage of as GDP. a percentage of GDP, when he left office, it was nearly 22 percent of GDP. Big government was bigger. And since then, it has drifted even much higher to 24, 25 percent of GDP. And the problem is defense. The problem is medical programs. The prog problem is really social insurance, non -mean means tested Social Security, Medicare, 1.5 trillion going to millions of people who are affluent, don't need it, should be cut back or cut off. He didn't talk about any of that. Secondly, when Ronald Reagan came in, revenues were at 19.5 percent of GDP. That was Jimmy Carter's uh, tax level. He cut uh, taxes a little bit, but by the time we got to 212, they were down to 16 percent. Both parties had been cutting taxes while they let spending go up. So now we have the lowest tax burden, even after the compromise so-called uh, of New Year's Day, in the last 50 years, and we have the highest level of spending we've ever seen since World War II. Well, rather than raise revenues, then why can't you just You've got to do spending? both. What I'm saying is you, so have, you have to, to raise taxes even more than they have. I, I, I don't want to get into taxes, but yes, you have to raise them, and we need a new tax. You can't get it out of the income tax. It's pretty clear that we've already tapped Where that out. That We're going to need a consumption tax. This country overspends, undersaves, underinvests. We're living beyond our means. We're living in a fairy tale, and we have to start paying our well, bills. Well, Europe has this value-added tax. Most of the countries do, on top of a variety of other right. taxes. They're not exactly fine. They fund all the well, you know, everybody has their problem. I'm saying if we're going to fund even 20 percent of GDP, which I think we can get spending down to, but I'll tell you what it'll take in a moment. It'll horrify everybody on Capitol Hill. But to get it to 20 percent of GDP, uh, we are going to have to have a consumption tax of large magnitude. We need to stop taxing payrolls. That is the payroll tax because we have the highest labor costs in the world. Then we add 15 percent on top. My answer is reduce or eliminate the payroll tax, tax consumption, not work, tax uh, the uh, spending side of the economy, not the production so, side. So what Bobby Jindal is doing yeah. or proposing to do in Louisiana, get rid of the income tax, corporate taxes, replace it with a, a slightly higher sales tax. He hasn't ironed out the numbers. It's the right, it's the right that's direction. The, that's the approach. That's right. yes, oh, because, wouldn't that, wouldn't well, that be uh, regressive? Isn't the argument that it hurts middle to lower income people more. Well, there's that argument, but the, the problem is you can't effectively collect an income tax in the global economy that we're in today. These big corporations simply hire lobbyists and lawyers and accountants. So it would force tax paying out of the woodwork. I mean, yes, those it would, would avoid it. The only thing we can tax in this world today is sales or uh, uh, sales at the uh, retail at the point right. of sales. And that, that would inhibit tax. sales? Uh, sure, it would inhibit sales, but the problem is we can't spend our way to prosperity. We can't consume our way to prosperity. So you're not saying either or. Uh, That's the one. But, you know, I think I understand, but you, you would not be, as some have advocated, um, replace the federally cut tax with the consumption tax. I would like to you need both. Right? I would like to replace the payroll tax with right. the consumption tax because the payroll tax is what's killing jobs. Yeah, but you know